The rapid advance of the 8th Army had left the American divisions at McNassie and El Guitar far behind the battle area. General Alexander now switched these divisions to the north. This remarkable 200-mile march across the heavy traffic streams of the 1st Army's lines of supply was accomplished without once interrupting the eastward flow, and this in complete secrecy. piston had completed its upward stroke. The desired state of enemy high compression had been achieved. Now to capture the spark plug, the vital hills west of Tunis and Bezerre. This led to a number of major battles of which five were typical. Hill 609, Longstop Hill, Gubalat Plain, Jebel Mansour and Takruna. The 8th Army struck at Takruna. The French 19th Corps attacked Jebel Mansour. On the Gubalat Plain, the British 6th Armoured Division, striking towards Tunis, had drawn upon it most of the enemy's remaining armour. of struggle, our main purpose was accomplished, the drawing to this battlefield of von Arnim's tanks and guns and their destruction. Meantime, the British 78th Division was pressing the attack on Longstop Hill. echoed with gunfire. Positions were taken, lost and retaken. When the German lines broke at last, their dead lay in hundreds, unburied on the battlefields. As our infantry went forward, engineers and pioneers built roads across the mountaintops for vital supplies to reach them. In 14 days, they built 11 miles. Meanwhile, further north, the Americans had embarked on their phase of the campaign. This started with the assault on Hill 609. Long-range artillery started the attack.
battery, left eight. Baker, Baker. Took Hill 609. There weren't as many of us guys when we got to the top as they'd been at the bottom. But we took it. Thus, one by one, von Arnim's strongholds in the mountains fell. The Germans had been outfought. Now they were to be outwitted. General Alexander knew their fear of the Eighth Army. So he reinforced that fear with heavy bombardments and local attacks from Montgomery's front. At the same time, he secretly transferred the 4th Indian and the 1st and 7th Armoured Divisions from the 8th to the 1st Army in the north, whence the main attack was to come. The spark plug was ours, and we were now ready to explode the combustible mass. Now to pour on the power now to give the apostles of power an education in the use of it. and Americans in the air with everything that could fly. British and Americans on the ground with everything that could shoot. French artillery, French infantry. British Navy, all poured forth their concentrated fury. This was blitz warfare such as the inventors of the blitz had never dreamed of. 